Here with Andrew Nemhard. Andrew, before this game, Rick Carlisle told me probably not as a, not a lot is expected of us. It's a great opportunity to come in, let it all hang out, and try to steal one. How did that mantra rally your team in enemy territory in a difficult environment? Um, I think we came in with that mentality. We're just trying to keep getting better, you know, so we're just playing, playing hard, you know what I'm saying? And uh, came together, got the win. Wow, really tough in the second half, especially. Let's talk about the halftime adjustments individually for you. You had three points in the first half. Maybe you got off to a little bit of a slow start. You made a big shot in the second quarter. What led to that third quarter barrage? Um, coaches kept telling me get downhill, get right to the rim instead of settling for mid-range shots. And uh, they're trying to go under my ball screen. So I just started to stay aggressive, stay confident um, going to the second half and um, keep stroking it. This ranks as one of the biggest wins of the season. It compares favorably to that game at Golden State when Tyrese was also out. How did that experience help you in this situation? Um, all those experiences with Tyrese out just helps with um, give me playmaking experience. Balls in my hands. I get to make plays for myself and others. So uh, just try to keep getting better, keep learning, you know? At one point I saw you shake George's hand and say, thank you, appreciate you. How has he helped you? Uh, he just keeps giving me confidence, you know? Uh, keeps giving me little tips. You know, he's been in the league for a long time, has all the tricks and gadgets for the game. So, uh, just appreciate all the best on my team. Finally, one thing you told me after that Golden State game was 10 toes down, keep working. How have you followed that motto all season long? Uh, that's, that stays consistent forever. For, um, always trying to work, always trying to get better. Thank you, Andrew. Thank you.